for today's video, we are in Newcastle. We're starting with a meal um, at Beeronomy, which is a new restaurant. It's only been over a couple of months. We've never been. Um, then we're going to head, hopefully, to the Hancock Museum and see Dippy. I'm going to see Dippy with Dopey and Dopey too. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to see Aladdin. So hopefully this day pans out the way we want. But let's head into Beeronomy. Cause the fog and the tanning is all mine, all mine The fog and the tanning is all mine The fog and the tanning is all mine, all mine The fog and the tanning is all mine You'd like to know, you should get that press to open, please Me? I get you the spoilers <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but there's a problem how do we get you in, Caroline? Because there's a press to open, which opens the door, right, handy. However, how do you get up the stairs? There must be a way. Go in and ask. There must be. Pieronomy, how do we get in? So, Sean went indoors and asked one of the guys who works in Pieronomy how we get in. And we have to go around the back entrance. Um, we we'll we've got to go on the back door. So, we'll show you that when we get in there. Um, yeah, strange having two disabled buttons outside, but no actual access on that side. Design floor, is Yeah, it? design floor! Yeah, steps are like that for two. Yeah, Super. here we go. To the back entrance. Oh yeah, yeah. Is there entrance? Yeah, there's the back entrance of Beeron, you guys. So here you go, two entrances. If you need a wheelchair access, go to the you back. You go on the back way. Flatbreads and snacks, and then the food menu. Don't know what we're gonna have yet though. And then the cocktail menu, and it's a craft ale bar as well. So there's loads of craft ales and ciders. Ales and ciders. The guy. Start off with a couple of drinks. Caroline's got a classic mojito, which is not on the menu, but we'll make whatever. Is whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And it looks quite nice. Is it good? Nice. Don't you call me names. Refreshing. You I'm going to Pepsi Max because I'm driving. And Chris, what have you got? A Jaipur. A Jaipur. Is it nice? It's very nice. Indian Pale Ale. And we just, and yeah. just tried, what were they called? We tried the Key Lime. Key Lime. IPA. IPA by you? Oh, whoa, something. Yeah. I think it might be a Floridian one. We've ordered our starters and mains. Um, we'll show you them when they come. Our starters have arrived, so we've got uh, these are black pudding and apple bonbons. We've got three lots of potato skin, so we've got salsa and parmesan, lamb and aioli, um, crab, apple, and radish, and we've got some cheese croquettes with some chewy chewy dip. So let's dig into these, Caroline. Have a, have a mozzarella croquette chip thing. How do you know it's mozzarella? Doesn't it? it just says it just cheese. cheese. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll in cheese. 
Did you see that move? It's melted in the middle. Is it good? It's not mozzarella. It's very... Um, Cheesy. No, very light, yeah. fluffy. Cheesy. Please tell me it's cheesy. It's got to be cheesy. It's cheesy, obviously. Okay. Cheesy stick. So Chris is trying a black pudding and apple bonbon. Did he just say an apple? No, I said apple. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Black pudding? Very black pudding. Just thought you want. No. Crab. It smells crabby. Which is a good thing. Potato skins are very crispy. And you love a radish. I have tried and it is the strangest texture concoction personally for me. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I think I was of the same opinion, to be quite honest. So we've finished our starters or bar snacks as they're on the menu. Um, you can get five for fifteen pounds, three ninety five each, three for a tenner, and we went for the five. Um, all of I didn't try the black pudding. Chris said it was very good. Um, the two, the three potato skins. The lamb one was fantastic. The salsa and parmesan was pretty good as well. The crab one was not at all. There was an overpowering taste of just it was just I can't really describe it. it was just horrible, and I had to spit it out. It was that bad, and I didn't spit my food out as you know. Um, and the mozzarella sticks, ah, with the chimichurri sauce. But now we're going to get our mains. Our mains have arrived and Chris and I both have the lamb stew, which looks quite interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Drinks have arrived. And Caroline's got the... I have the pan-fried salmon, herb spelt salad, minus the confit tomatoes and samphire. I would have had the samphire, but I suspect it was in with the tomatoes. Looks good. Try the mashed potato. That's nice. Two thumbs up from Sean. One thumb up from One Chris. One thumb up from Chris. <laughs> okay. And your salmon. It's a big bit of salmon. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> All right, Tiffy. The desserts are here. I've went for the creme brulee. Which, has it got a crackable top? Yes. Yes, that's what we like. Chris has got the brownie, which looks like ice cream and brownie and, and quite impressive. Mm. We'll come back to you in a minute and tell you what it was like. The creme brulee was a bit meh. Wasn't bad, wasn't good, nothing special, but it was, it was fine, I guess. Um, the food here, I think we'll definitely come back here because it's been overall, it's been good. Couple of it, obviously not like everything on a menu, but overall it's been pretty good. The place looks really nice, but we're going to head off to the Hangover Museum in a minute. Is there anything you'd like to add about this restaurant? Just what I said to Chris before was that I think the food is based on the natural seasoning of the food, so it's not over seasoned. There's no salt and pepper on the tables, and I think that's what it's making you do. Use your own taste buds to get the flavours out, but also it's meant to be paired with the craft ales, which we haven't done, so maybe the craft ales bring out the more of the favourites. But let's head to the Hancock. Oh, we'll show you the bill as well when it comes in a second. The bill has come, and so we had two Pepsi Max, two Mojitos. What's this guest? We well, had a guest, apparently. Yeah. Guest ale. Um, <clears throat> Two lamb stews, the salmon, the brownie sundae, the creme brulee, and those starters, and that came to 89.15. So not the cheapest, but also not the most expensive. We're now heading into the Hancock Museum, or the Great North Museum, I think it's called now, for this, to be on tour, a natural history adventure. You can find a lot out about Adrian's Wall in here, and they've got a, a mock-up of it. Starts all the way over there. 
which I'm assuming is Carlisle. And then you go all the way along this wall, learn all about the different parts and the forts. Core Bridge is here. Great Chesters. Everyone loves the Great Chesters. House Stead, and then you go all the way down there to Segadunum, I'm guessing. And then you can see lots of all the archaeological finds from the wall. Learn about living on the wall. Poems and look at this, this is quite cool. Well, they're a bit headless, which is tends to be what happens when you're out in Newcastle. Oh no, that's legless. Hey, stuffed animals. Grey squirrel. Oh. They kill all the red ones if you didn't know. Though. Do you want to know what I did? I thought you had to turn the little knob. Getting stoned. <laughs> <Where'd you go? laughs> Wombat. Where were you? You These are all from the Literary and Philosophical Society, so we're going to have to pop there actually and have a look. And there's an eagle. Did you know that this collection is part of the Hancock Brothers, which is why the museum came about, but also because it is a Shefton. Since about 1950. This one's maybe no six onwards. Found some skulls, but this one is a uh, like a creepy, funny, humorous thing. It's interesting. Chocolate though, chocolate, life is like a box of chocolate. All these. Oh, there's the back of the, what do you call them, Roman soldier. And then, what's this, this is some sort of game. Oh, you've got to classify things, let's not do that. We'll leave that for the kids. It's a barrel of laughs. And we've got some more stones. We're going to have a look at the crystals and gems in a moment. What's down here? Oh, just a little. A little bit. Sorry, what? He says, are you picking out a stone for my new ring? I said, yes, sure, I need a new ring. I don't like you. Look at me. <laughs> Sean? Yes? There's something fishy going on. But this fish is, whatever it is, is ugly. Look at it. It's like a gigantic, eely, fishy snake thing. I can see past the fishes and see a dinosaur. But Dippy's upstairs, I think, so let's get to these dinosaurs. That's what I'm interested in. That's what I want to see. Designer fish. Um, is that a fish? We found our first dinosaur, and this is a fossil of an ichthyosaurus. How do you say that? Ichthyosaurs. Which is a large Jurassic marine reptile found in Whitby. And this is what a smaller version would have looked like. We're gonna have fun pronouncing all these dinosaur names, aren't we? <laughs> this is the T Rex, I'm sure you can guess. Which is a mighty, mighty beast. Looks a bit hungry though. 
that tail, that will whip you up. That mouth, well. From one dinosaur to another. He's aging well. This is an iguanodon head, skull. It was a herbivorous dinosaur that lived in what is now southern England about 115 million years ago. Not next to the T-Rex though. And this is what it would have looked like. So there's lots of these little screens and, and little games that you can play. I want Caroline to use this vibration tool. Make it vibrate Caroline, break that rock up. You want some acid? There you go. No, you want to. No, no, you want to get rounded. There we go. to see Dippy. I see you Dippy. Oh. You're a big one. You've got a very small head though. And painted. Does anyone know, like, to keep it, keep it fresh, keep it um, preserved? That's the word I'm looking for. But hey, look. Let's just stop all this and head into ancient Egypt. I think is the next area we're going to look at. We've made it into ancient Egypt, and we're going to crack this code. Sure. It looks all Greek to me. I think you're in denial. Yeah. What if I the bar? You said it looked like <laughs> Welsh. Yeah, it's Welsh to me. Welsh. <laughs> Look at this. Ah, mummy, I found you. This one's called Backed on a Hall. Backed on Hall. Just there. They remove all your internal organs back in ancient Egypt, which is interesting. Oh, we've got a mummy head. There's a couple there, and that's what inside of one of these sarcophagus looks like, which this is Ertiru. 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 She was very small. Very small lady. stuff from the Ice Age to, well from the modern day all the way back to the Ice Age, 4000 BC and lots of things like this. But there's little holes in the wall that you can look in and then that looks glorious. So we look at this one. And this one. I like to look in all the holes. Interesting. So we've got Lots of all those um, like plants and really old fossils and plants and things like that. First pyramids built in Egypt, 2650 BC. Wow. 
Caroline tells me I really should go to the doctor because I keep coughing. <laughs> what? You didn't like that one, Chris. You're turning your back on me. Oh. That was good fun in the Great North Museum, formerly known as the Hancock Museum. <clears throat> lots to see in there, lots we didn't show you as well. Um, and we're definitely going to have to go back because there's so many things to see and look at. But now we are heading over to the cinema to see Aladdin. Um, it's free entry in that museum, by the way, but you can choose to make a donation, which we did. Did you have fun in there? That's Toby. Happy Toby. We've made it into the screen. We're a little bit early. Very We're the early. first people in the screen. We are king and queen like and princess of the screen. I've got a hot dog called a Nacho Libre. Massive popcorn and Caroline's got some nachos. We've also got our own private little VIP booth. Because look at this. This is the booth. Two really comfy VIP chairs. Caroline's got her own special chair that she takes around with her everywhere. <laughs> Don't know why. And then we'll look down at the screen. And we are looking forward to Aladdin. Arabian Nights. Yeah, let's not sing. <laughs> I've just seen Aladdin and my initial thoughts are that it was visually very, very stunning. Um, the storyline was awesome, you know what it, it is. But out of the three versions of that story that I've seen, the original movie, the stage show and that, the stage show is my favourite out of all of them. The genie's are much better than that. Um, Will Smith did make the genie as well, no, but the singing was atrocious in that film. It was really, really bad. That whole soundtrack was, was pretty terrible. If it wasn't for the songs themselves being good, we even worse. Um, there was one song, the whole New World song, that was the only one that I thought was decent. It wasn't atrocious. It was. Terrible singing, terrible singing. It wasn't great singing, but it, I wouldn't say it was atrocious. I've heard worse. Well, I've heard worse as well, but that doesn't mean it's not, <laughs> not terrible. Um, but yeah, the, the film looked really, really good. Um, the costumes, the setting, the CGI was all, all pretty fantastic. What do you think? Anything to add? Um, yeah, uh, uh, Will Smith didn't do the... Um, Arabian Night song, any justice whatsoever. It was no. a bit of a letdown, if I'm honest. Like I said, atrocious. Yeah, no, but not all of the singing was atrocious. Just um, Will Smith. He, he, he was a bit of a letdown for his singing. Mm. And because I know the original, um, obviously the cartoon Arabian version. Night. Um, and I've seen the stage show. Yes, I'm worse. And the stage show in terms of music wise, musical score was so much better, so much better. Um, basically it was good. I enjoyed it. I would I would watch it again. It wasn't bad to watch, but it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. It was all right. That's how I would describe that. Um, but like magic. What, no, what did else did I say before about it? I forgot as well. <clears throat> I don't know. You always do this to me. I know. You said I'd forget. You said I'd forget. What did I say, Chris? Right. The, the film, I said something very specific and he said remember to rem remember it and I've forgotten. Oh yeah, the other thing was, um, Sean says it was my, just my eyes, but I thought some, at some points there was jumping in the visualisation of certain scenes. Just Caroline's eyes. Oh, no? some parts were sped up. Um, it was, wasn't it? There was some... Like the parts where Aladdin was um, jumping across the rooftops in yeah. um, the palace. And it didn't, up. it didn't... Yeah, but that's how it's meant to be. But it didn't, it didn't seem right. It just seemed distorted to me. And like magic, we're going to end the vlog here. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below. Tell us your ideas, anything that you want to want to see in our local area, we'll, we'll go and show you. Um, keep making memories. Catch you later.